Hi y'all, it's Beth here and happy January 1st. Um, happy New Year, happy 2022. And I'm so, so excited. This video is part one of my year's worth of empties. So pretty much, let me just explain um, where I got this um, inspiration from for this video. So um, at the end of 2020, I started, you know, watching a bunch of wax videos and through doing that, I found Canada Kim here on YouTube and I was just watching through like all of her old videos and one of her videos that she does like every year at the end of the year since like for a long time, I feel like since 20, at least since 2019, if not even before that, um, she has been filming these and pretty much it's her year's worth of empties and she holds on to all her empties from the whole year. And that is where I got inspired that I wanted to do it too. And so I'm going to link her channel in the description box down below. Um, her name here on YouTube is Canada Kim and then there's a year after that, but I can't remember the year. But um, anyways... <clears throat> That's where I took the inspiration for this video, and um, I also know that Patrice here on YouTube also filmed a year's worth of empties as well, so I'll link her channel down below. Um, I'm so happy that I met her through YouTube, and so definitely go check out her videos as well. I've watched the first one, but I still have to watch the other two. Um, I've just been feeling so under the weather, and I need to get caught back up. Also grab a drink grab a snack i don't know where i'm gonna leave this video off at but i know it's gonna be a long one so without any further ado i did split everything up by different companies and vendors and so i'm gonna start with ava's country cupboard um i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do timestamps down below um because y'all i just have like zero energy um I am recovering from COVID and stuff. So yeah, I just have no energy and I'm just doing the best I can with what I got, okay? So I'm gonna start with Ava's. This one is gonna definitely be all wax melts. I know for sure, but I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them in here or if I'll need to split it up even more. But I have wax melts, candles. I didn't save my candles, but I took pictures of them um when I emptied them and then I have all my body care from the year as well so it's a lot of trash that we have to talk about here so we'll start with Ava's um most of these I don't really remember but I'm just going to show you what I got through and definitely will tell you if it's one that is so so amazing so first off is um some samples from Ava's so I have Ava's Snickerdoodle Zucchini, that was a sample. Ava's Teeny Strawberry Bakery, that was a sample. Ava's Cotton Candy Cream Soda, that was a sample. I think my sister liked that one a lot. Um, Ava's Country Covered Teeny's Treats in a sample. Um, let's see. Frosty Pines in a sample, Blackberry Marshmallow Fireside in a sample, Dreamy Lavender. This one I wrote a note, really enjoyed in bedroom, relaxing lavender, it lasted all night and day. Wow, so I'm pretty sure I probably would pick that one up again. Um, Ava's Country Covered Cafe Vienna. It's just so funny, all the things you forget, you know, through just one year. Um... Ava's Country Covered Apple Fritter Zucchini Donuts. This one is amazing. She reformulated it and I haven't gotten to try the reformulation yet, but it is so, so good. Um, the kind that I had before she reformulated it, at least. I can't speak to the new one. Another one from her that I really, really love is Peppermint Patty. Oh my goodness, this one is so good. Um, I don't know if she, uh, Lindsay is the owner of Ava's, and I don't know if she has had trouble getting this oil or not. I've requested this scent to be poured like the past couple of restocks and it hasn't been poured again. But that one is so good. Um, Ava's Country Covered Lavender Woods. This one I think I didn't like. 
Performed well in my bedroom. Strong. Lasted two nights. Not my type of scent, though not a repurchase. Yeah, I think um, it was like very, very heavy woodsy incense type scent. Ava's Country Covered Strawberry Pound Cake. Ava's Country Covered Lavender Wishes. This one was nice. I would pick that one up again. Um, Ava's Country Covered Black Cherry Merlot. Um, this one was a sample in eggnog cookie dough donuts. Ava's Country Covered Cranberry Citrus. I love this one. It's so good. Um, Ava's Country Covered Christmas Kitchen. I wrote a note about this one. Strong throw, peppermint type of scent with I don't know what else in it. Maybe a cinnamon nutmeg. Maybe no repurchase. So there's that one. Um... Ava's Country Covered Mandarin Plum. This one is really good. Um, I love mixing it with Blue Ribbon Cookies from that Smell Good shop. I know that some people are like, it is bad to blend two vendors together, but I always do it. I It really doesn't bother me. Um, and this one, it was so good blended with that Blue Ribbon Cookie scent. It reminded me of Sweet Plum Pastry from Scentsy. So this one is really good, Mandarin Plum. I loved that one. This is a natural soy sample in lemon pound cake. This one did not perform for me, I remember. Um, Ava's Country Covered Boom Boom or Bum Bum. Oh, we have another cranberry citrus, y'all. <laughs> um, that just goes to show you I really loved that one. <clears throat> Ava's Country Covered Enchanted Apple. This one is amazing. Um, surprisingly stronger in the open concept than my bedroom. This one was good. I would repurchase um, and highly recommend. Ava's Country Covered Caramel Cinnamon Latte. I loved this one. I have like five of them in my bedroom. Um, Ava's Country Covered. These ones are some more samples. Peppermint Fluff. I don't remember that one. Cookie Dough Noel. This one I wrote. This one has a good throw. Similar to Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath & Body Works. Would repurchase occasionally. Um, Ava's Country Covered Cinnamon Broom. Ava's Country Covered European Cafe. I remember I couldn't get a throw from this one. I was so sad. I think I didn't let it sit for long enough or something. Um, and then Ava's Country Covered Celestial Sea. Which I remember enjoying this one um, on a trip to the beach. So, that is everything for Ava's Country Cupboard. Wow. Um, let me count because I held on to however many I said that I really liked. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight because I can't count cranberry citrus twice. So, that's eight favorites from Ava's in a year. So, I feel like that's pretty good. And I'm just going to hold on to these um, in a pile to make sure that I wrote about them in my wax journal, which you guys really don't care about that. Like, I don't know why I'm sharing that information with you guys, but I do have a wax journal where I keep track of all my thoughts on all my scents that I've tried because I just wanna know what my favorites are. Okay, let's do Scentsy next because I have a big, huge box of Scentsy. Um, let's see. How am I going to do this? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff, you guys. It's very overwhelming. Okay, um, from Scentsy, I have Cider Mill. Oh my goodness, this one is so good. Um, it's a pumpkin apple scent. It smells amazing. I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, I have Black Raspberry Vanilla. I don't know what's up with me in Black Raspberry Vanilla scents, but I can never smell them for some reason. Like, my nose is just nose blind to them. So, this was very, very light to me, I remember. But I think my brother, Timothy, really enjoyed this one. I have here a Blue Grotto and even a second Blue Grotto. This scent is so, so good. Um, I love it with all my heart. It reminds me of the Blue Bug Juice. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. Um, I'm not going to talk y'all's ear off about the blue bug juice because I know I talk about it so much, but, um, if you want to know what I'm talking about and you don't know, let me know in the comments down below and I would be happy to explain what I'm talking about. Um, 
Another favorite, this one is Hug in a Mug. This is just such a good chocolatey scent. If you love chocolate scents, you would love that one. I even have a second Hug in a Mug here. Just prove that there are two different ones there. Um, oh my goodness, this scent is so good. I'm kicking myself for not trying it before it went away because I don't have a Scentsy Club. Um, this is a Bring Back My Bar in Peppermint Dreams. This scent smelled so good. I remember I was at work one day and I have really bad anxiety, you guys. And um, like, you know, just like, my mental health is not always great. And I remember I was at work and I felt so nauseous and I got sick. And I was like, I went to my boss and I was like, do I have to go get tested for COVID? And she was like, oh, well, do you feel like you're sick or do you feel like it's just like nervousness? I was like, I think it's just like anxiety, honestly. And she was like, okay. And I remember I went home and I put this in the warmers and it just calmed me right down. It was so amazing. It smelled so good. And I wish I had more of this. If you have a Scentsy Club and you have this in your club, I literally will buy this. Like, I will pay you for it. Like, I just love this scent. I just wish that I had it. I had more of it. Um, okay, maybe Scentsy will bring it back, hopefully. <laughs> uh, maybe that will be what inspires me to get a Scentsy Club, right? Okay. This one is Scentsy's Blueberry Cheesecake. This scent is strong, but it has that sour note to me and I did not like it, um, but it is strong. And then Scentsy's Winterberry Apple Tea. I don't know why I didn't get a good throw from this clam. Everybody just raves about how amazing and strong this scent is. I just did not get a good throw from it at all. But I love it in the Scentsy Soak. It does great for me in the Scentsy Soak. Not in the wax form for whatever reason. Um, so sad about that, but that's okay. Um, some scents work for me that don't work for other people, right? So we have to take what we can get. Um, this one is Scentsy's Clean Breeze. This one is really, really nice. It's a good clean scent. Um, there's like not anything super special about it of that I'm like, wow, this is like the best clean scent in the world, but I would definitely repurchase it for the bathroom like every once in a while. Um, this is Bring Back My Bar in Sweet Plum Pastry. You guys, this scent is so good. Um, oh, I don't have the notes on this one. I have them written on another one um, that is like a partial one that I still have left from I think like January or something, I bought one one more of these. But um, this scent is so, so good. So the first time I melted it, I thought I didn't like it because I didn't blend it with a bakery. But then I blended it with a bakery the second time that I melted it and it was amazing. Um, I love that scent. I hope Scentsy brings it back eventually, someday. Um, oh my gosh, this one was so good too. This is Scentsy's Stroopwafel Delight. It was so good. I love this one. I don't know why Scentsy didn't bring it back. It's so, so good. If you love caramel scents, you would love Stroopwafel Delight. I highly, highly recommend um, if it does ever come back. This one is really good too. This is Scentsy's Vanilla Mint and it smells amazing. Um, I just, I can't, I just don't have time to sit and talk about all these. Um, this one, I don't know what I was thinking y'all when I got this one. This is Scentsy's Newborn Nursery. I bought this one, like my sister complained about this one so much. I did not enjoy this one, but I made myself get through the bar, but... I would not repurchase this one again. I got it because I was working with kids and sometimes I would be in the infant room, sometimes I would be in the older infant room. And you know, you just get like excited, like, cause you are around like the future of the world, right? And so when I saw this scent from Scentsy, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to try it. It's gonna remind me of work. It's gonna remind me of my kids. No, it was not for me at all. <clears throat> um, okay, also from Scentsy, this one is Silver Bells. This scent is amazing. I love it. 
it is like the feminine companion to vanilla mint um in my personal opinion um and it's just so good it's like just a fruity minty scent but not like super fruity it's definitely heavier on the mint and it's just so so good um and then Scentsy's apple butter frosting another one that is so so good I remember melting this bar at my friend's bridal shower. I hosted her bridal shower and everyone had good things to say about the way that the house smelled. Apple butter frosting it is a crowd pleaser. Um, this one is so sad. This is Scentsy's apple cherry strudel. I don't get a good performance from this at all. Um, so sad. Um, and then a uh, brick in cinnamon chai latte this one was all the way from i want to say 2018 um holiday brick collection and it's so good oh my goodness sensi if you are listening i don't know if you consultants are able to like tell sensi a message like bring this scent back but bring this scent back cinnamon chai latte it is so good so that makes how many that i love from scentsy makes one two three five seven nine eleven eleven that i absolutely love from scentsy so let me get this cleaned up i'm going to drink some water because my throat is killing me and then um, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Okay, next up, I'm gonna do Super Tarts. Um, so I have two samples from Super Tarts. I have mystery sample. I have no idea what was in it. And then luckily after that, Brandy started to put the um, name of the scents on there, on her samples. This one is in Birch, please. Um, I didn't like this one whenever I melted it. It's just like a very incense woodsy scent. I remember it had a good throw and performance, but just not my cup of tea. Um, okay, now into the clams. Um, so first off, I have Electra, which I used up. This one is strawberry, sponge sugar, and buttercream. If I remember correctly, I couldn't smell this one. Um, yeah, I think I couldn't smell this one that good so let me tell you guys um super tarts is kind of a hit or a miss in my home so just so that you guys know um that's the performance that i get from her some people they get tremendous performance for everything from her or almost everything but for me it's a hit or a miss um one that is definitely a hit this is super tarts wonka vision the notes are chocolate bar sweetened milk vanilla waffle cone Oh my goodness, this scent is so good. It's so chocolatey. It's so strong. Even just with one cube, it just is so amazing. I love it. Another one that is a hit for me is Malo Dramatic. This one is Mac Apple Sponge Sugar and Malo Fluff. I emptied this one out. It had a strong throw. I was very impressed. And a little heart for I love it. That's what I wrote on the back. <laughs> Um, okay, this next one, it wasn't just a dream. This one is lavender, pink sugar, vanilla cream, and peppermint. This one does not perform in my house, but it performs in North Carolina in my bedroom. Oh my goodness. I love it. I bought it. Um, she did, um, she did have it for Wax Wednesday. I bought it in a half band bag just to bring with me to the beach. Like, that's how much I love this scent um this one is ron the notes are sweetened cereal marshmallow sugary milk and orange sherbet i was so excited for this one it smelled so good on cold i could not smell it at all actually no maybe i could i put very light in the bedroom a bit stronger downstairs would not repurchase it even though the scent is very appealing very light so i guess i could smell it but not hardly at all Oh, I remember the one that I couldn't smell at all. Hold on, let me see if I can find it in here. Yes, this is the one, The Simpsons. This one is glazed donuts, root beer, and whipped cream. I could not smell this one at all when it was warming, and I was so sad. 
because it smells so good on cold. Oh my gosh. But yeah, couldn't smell it when warming. So sad. Um, okay. All the rest of these are hits in here. So whoop, whoop, we get to talk about happy things. Um, Super Tarts Fairy Dust. The notes are fresh balsam, raspberry, and cake batter. Y'all, I just want to tell you, when I'm sick, I am like crazy sometimes. So if I have some moments in this video, I apologize in advance <laughs> um, because like, I don't know. It's like when you're sick sometimes, at least it happens to me. Like, I don't know what is going on in my brain sometimes. Like, someone will say just, like, the most serious thing, or they'll say something that just, like, you know, why are you harping on that one thing? And then my brain will harp on that one thing, and then it just thinks it's just hilarious, like, the funniest thing, and I just laugh about it for, like, an hour. I have no idea, like... I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Does that happen to y'all? But it happens to me and like if I'm filming and I say something crazy and I just think it's like the funniest thing, like I am so sorry. Okay. Fairy dust. This one is fresh balsam, raspberry, and cake batter. This one smells so good. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot and I have it in a band bag. Um, another one that I am just crazy about, this is Super Tarts Robin. The notes are strawberry and freshly cut grass. This scent, y'all, if you see this scent available, I bought three clams of it. It's strong in the bedroom, it's a perfect spring scent, and it's strong in the open concept. I remember it was like the springtime, like a day in maybe February or March or something. It was like the beginning of spring. I put one cube of this in my warmer. It was so strong. My mom came downstairs. She was like, we have got to open the windows. We have got to open the door. Like, why does it smell like that in here? She was not a fan of it, but I love it so much. It is so good. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, and then one that is just a really strong, clean scent. This is Spoonful of Sugar. The notes are pink sugar, blue sugar, lemon sugar. I'm pretty sure I have at least three clams of this, I want to say. It's really good. It's a super strong cleaner scent. It has a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's mostly a cleaner scent. And so that makes how many from Super Tarts? Two, four, six. Six favorites from Super Tarts this year. So that is super exciting. Okay, you guys. I am going to at least pause for a little while because, like, I cannot. <laughs> um, my throat is killing me. I feel like I have to cough so bad. My tongue is so dry. And I am so exhausted. So I think I'm going to end this video here. But this was part one of my year's worth of empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys again soon for part two. I was thinking that there would be three parts, but wax is going to be more than one part. So maybe there'll be four or five parts, actually. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm going to see, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to see if I can keep going. We're going to keep going. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, y'all, I am back. I took a short little break. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, just a little bit. So, um, let's go ahead and continue on. Um, next up is Rainbow Melts. I didn't melt too much from Rainbow Melts. Um... So this first one is a sample in Aloe Rain. The notes are light floral, musk, spa, spa aloe, and rain. I think I remember being surprised by this one um, for the bathroom. Then um, Rainbow Melts Lemon Malo Cookie Bread. Uh, oh, there's no notes for this one. But um, this scent was good, I think. But I don't think, I don't think I was super like in love with it. But I think it was a good one. Um, 
Rainbow Melts Kick. The notes for this one are strong black coffee, Palo Santo, and vanilla cream. This one was strong, I remember, but it's not my favorite coffee scent. I wouldn't repurchase it personally, but if you love Palo Santo and coffee and like, you know, with a little bit, no, I don't even think I could say there was a little bit of sweetness in it. I think it was just like coffee and Palo Santo. Um, then I think you would enjoy that one. It was a great performer. Rainbow Melt Sweet Cheeks. Oh my goodness, I loved this one. The notes are Cookie Heaven and Boom Boom. And this one was so, so good. I loved it. And then um, Rainbow Melt's Boom Boom Clouds. The notes for this one were, uh, is, are Boom Boom and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, I think... I remember this scent was not anything that I would go crazy about. So just two favorites from Rainbow Melts, but I only melted four things um, from Rainbow Melts. So that's one of the reasons why. And I'm really, really excited to try more Rainbow Melts, you know, in the new year of 2022. Because um, their stuff does really well for me. Next up, we'll do Destination Wax. So... I went through a sample from Destination Wax in Lime Sugar. The notes are soft lime, anise, hazelnut, sugar, musk, and rose. Similar to pink sugar, but lime instead of raspberry. I could not judge this one enough just by the sample, but I am planning on purchasing it in the future to give it a try. Um, Destination Wax Bear Claws. The notes for this one are cinnamon pastry, filled with dates, raisins, and nuts. This one was so good. I would definitely repurchase and have repurchased that one. Destination Wax Lavender Mint. The notes are invigorating herbal mint with a splash of lavender, contains essential oils. Um, if y'all have been watching me for any period of time, y'all know I'm crazy about the scent. It's so amazing. Destination Wax Apple and Earl Grey. The notes are crisp apples, dried pears, black tea, Chamomile, chamomile, no, chamomile, spices, and bergamot. This scent was good, but I don't think I'd go crazy for it. Um, same sort of situation with baked apples. The notes are baked apples drizzled with brown sugar, butter, vanilla, and warm spices. Sweeter than baked cinnamon apples. <coughs> oh, I don't know what that's doing in there. That one belongs in there. Um, blueberry basket. This one is a basket full of ripe blueberries, grapes, and plums. This is a rich, sweet berry scent. This scent is really, really good. I loved it. Um, jelly cronut. This one is flaky, buttery, croissant -y dough. Uh, hold on. Can I start over? Flaky, buttery, croissant, donut filled with blackberry, raspberry, strawberry jelly. Okay. Just see how that's written because I did not read that properly um this one is so good mixed with bear claws so good it's it's heavy on the fruity not so much on the bakery so mixed with bear claws it was just so so good and then blackberry apple marmalade this one is blackberries apples sugar cinnamon allspice and lemon this one was not anything special I would not repurchase it but I did have two, four favorites from Destination Wax. And again, it's kind of similar to Rainbow Melts in the fact that I didn't try too much from this particular vendor this year, but I'm super excited to try more in 2022. Okay, next up, y'all, is Rose Girls. So we have a little bit to talk about from Rose Girls. First up is Cake by the Ocean. This scent was really good. It's not very long lasting to me, but I still like it and would repurchase it if I was making an order. Um, I have two samples that I went through. This first one is Spruce Willis. Y'all, I absolutely love this scent. It's so good. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. And then I also have a sample. This one I ruined for myself. So this is Strawberry Soda and Blue Raspberry Slushy. I don't know, like, now I just, uh, like, associate this scent with rotten eggs because when I put this in my warmers, so my mom really likes to boil um, eggs, to make hard-boiled eggs, 
and I cannot stand eggs like I do not like them and I do not like the smell of them the taste of them nothing and literally whenever my mom is boiling hard-boiled eggs if you guys have ever hard-boiled eggs before you know it smells the whole house like eggs and I have to turn my warmers off when she does that otherwise it mixes with the scent in the warmers and I can never melt it again that is what happened with this scent so it's a no for me um because of that then rose girls tea and cakes oh my goodness i absolutely love 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 this scent um rose girls good night moon this one is sweet lavender pink sugar peppermint and birthday cake this is one of my favorite nighttime blends of all time i love it love it love it and Rose Girls Apple Fritter with a little apple sticker that I put on there because I'm a dweeb, okay? Um, anyways, this scent is a really, really good apple bakery scent. It just smells amazing. It's my favorite apple fritter, apple strudel type of scent that I have tried thus far. And that's it from Rose Girls. So that's one, two, three, four, five great scents from rose girls so that is very exciting and rose girls again is a vendor that i haven't tried a whole lot from her but i'm excited to try more in 2022 so yeah okay next up is teddy bees you guys and after this i need to take a break like a longer break because yeah this is where i'm gonna have to end this one for the day and then i will be back again tomorrow with some more. Um, so from Teddy Bees, I have two samples. The first one is in London Peony and Blush Suede. This one is like a very heavy floral scent and like very perfumey, very floral. Um, not a repurchase for me. Then Teddy Bees Green Envy. This one was nice. Um, I actually have this one in a souffle. It's like an apple um it's like an apple type scent I think um this one was very nice but I have it in a souffle and I'm going to give it more of a try before I form an opinion about it <coughs> um then Teddy Bee's The Crack of Dawn this one is a layered blend of Witches Be Crazy and Coffee Bean All in Mode this scent is so so good I would definitely repurchase it Strawberry Pound Cake and Teddy Bear Biscuits. It's so good. Warm beignets made with nutmeg, creamy vanilla coated in powdered sugar and dipped in whipped cream. Layered with Strawberry Pound Cake. I loved this scent so much. And then Teddy Bee's Frankish Princess. The notes are patisserie, which is warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice. Blended with blackberry butter pecan cookies, which is butter pecan waffles blackberry jam and butter cookies this scent is my all-time favorite from teddy bees so far um so that is three that i loved and i would repurchase for sure in the future so that's everything that i'm gonna be able to do today because i've just worn myself out with filming and um yeah, but I will see you guys tomorrow with some more of my year's worth of empties. So this was part one. Tomorrow will be part two. Maybe I'll finish up my wax uh, melts in part two. Then part three will either be candles and or body care. And then part four will be the opposite. So if I do candles for part three, it'll be body care for part four. Or if I do body care for part three, it'll be candles for part four. So um yeah but we got through a lot of stuff today so thank you guys so much for watching and listening and i hope you guys are having as much fun with this as i am um the only thing that would make it better is if i wasn't sick but we can't always have everything the way we want it right so anyways i'm happy to be here i just don't want to i don't want to come across that you know like i'm complaining or something I'm so grateful to be here and that everyone in my family is okay. Um, I just wish that I was healthy. I don't know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time tomorrow. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.